Well, hello and welcome to the desk of a magpie womble. <laughs> it is I, Kooky. Yes, it's me <laughs> again. I um, am in the midst of just finishing up this little hoop that I um, decided to make. And I thought that you guys might like to see it. And also have a little catch up of what we're going to do in May. Because it's May now. <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed, we're almost a week into May. And I um, still didn't finish up all the things that I said I was going to do in April. So we are going to be continuing. Let's move my snake out of the way. <laughs> Everyone has a desk snake, right? Yeah. I'm not alone. Desk snakes are the way forward. Uh, yeah, I digress again. So I um, wanted to try out my ink tent pencils and I um, have used them as a background on this little embroidered piece. Um, obviously it's an owl because I am obsessed. Um, <laughs> so owls are always going to be a feature. Let me dig him out. Where's he gone? This guy we're going to be making soon as well. Odd bod. Well, he doesn't have to be as odd as this guy. But I love him. So we're going to be making um, needle felted owls. So that is on our list still from last time. But yeah, I'll just put him there for a minute. Um, so yes, if you are interested in a, um, a quick run through of how I do this, including a little pattern piece. It won't be anything great. Um, basically, it's just <laughs> it's just taken out of my sketchbook. <laughs> I literally photocopied this so that I could do it easier as a transfer onto my um, embroidery. But if you're interested, pop me a message down below in the comments, and I'll uh, I'll put together a little tutorial on how I put this guy together. Um, it's my own method, <laughs> again. It is slow stitched, and using some of the ink tens pencils as background, but that's not necessarily needed. You don't have to do that. Um, everything I do, I will show you, but. There are always workarounds. So if you haven't got particular things, there are workarounds you can do it with. Um, so, so yeah, if you're interested in having a go at making your own owl boy as a as an embroidery, then leave me a little message down below, and I will go through that. Um, yes. So things we didn't get to do. Things we didn't get to do including Oddbod, who's definitely one of the next things on my list, um, were the little needle cases. Now, if you have, um, if you've been making the bracelets or you've been following along with the bracelet and, and journal thing, this is another way to use up some of those little scraps you have left over, including some of the scraps you might have left over from... Um, the bracelet kits or if you've got your own little bits and bobs hanging around it's nice to have just a little good place to put your needles um so as part of my um sewing kit i have this one that i made i was when i was on holiday both of them i made when i was on holiday this one was the first one this one was the second one and it just incorporated some of these um uh, word pieces that I've made. Oh, I can't even remember how long I made them, but I found them in a box. And I thought they'd be great just to go on the front. So I used them. So we've got that coming up um, very shortly. Uh, I have got a thorough look at the ink tents, pencils, blocks, watercolours. I know I've done something before previously, but they brought out a new set of the ink tents, pencils which Derwin kindly put together a set of. Let me take you up a little further. I've got you a bit close here. Let me grab you and reposition. And these are the new Ink Tense set that they provided in a Derwin pencil roll. And I nabbed one of these, obviously, because I was um, in the market for some new Ink Tense pencils. 
but <laughs> then not only but also my Inktons pencils were I think it was a 24 set I kind of think it's a 24 set so I <laughs> went and nabbed myself a bargain on cat art and got uh, the old set of 72 it's not I say old set it's a brand new set but it's the not the 100 set it's a 72 so now with this and with this I've got a full set of Inktense pencils so I'm going to be having a look at those pretty shortly um so that's coming up um I think of the other things oh yes I have in my drawer <laughs> 600 drawers what are you doing I don't know where I've put them now Please. let me just have a rummage in my drawer excuse me while I rummage I'm back <laughs> I found what I was looking for let me move this out of the way slightly I'm still got to back this I'm going to back this with some felt and then he's ready for hanging um this is the other thing I didn't actually manage to finish many of these in the end I've got a whole load of them painted up but I'll show you um it's kind of like a little morning thing to do when you maybe I don't know you've just woken up want to be a bit creative and I made a set of these while I was on holiday which I think I probably showed you a couple of weeks back a month back maybe and um they're kind of like little collagey paper fabric bits of do added in and by do I mean sequins and beads you'll get used to me I promise um substitute words for all kinds of weird things it's the way it is the way so I've got collagey bits that are waiting for extras adding in if you were interested in having a go with me I have been using these um cardi papers they're like the tiny ones so they're really small they're LA8 I don't know if that's it's an A8 A8 is that a size if it is that's the size of them they're kind of like a business card size um and they're just nice they feel nice you know to just play around with a small area I know sometimes you like to work big like I do as well but sometimes you just want something that's really quick and you just want to get something down and sometimes the ideas that you get from these can can spark off an idea for a bigger piece so it's kind of twofold it, it's it's getting your creative juices flowing and um just doing something quick and simple and these can all be stored either in a journal or you could just put them <laughs> keep mine in my old mint tin which is um a good storage system it fits perfectly and they're also if you want to take a few out with you that you've prepared and you want to work on them when you're out and about maybe you're going on holiday and you want to take a few just to finish up this is a very good system <laughs> Anyway, I digress again. Let's move those to one side. So yes, this is what we're doing. So again, if you're interested in this, pop me a comment down below. I haven't put together anything for this yet, but I will if you are interested in going through it with me. It's going more into depth in it. It is an ink tans background on some just ordinary um, untreated calico and drawn in painted in and then you work on top of it and because you've got that background it gives you a guidance as to what you want to put down there so on this owl ink tents background I also added in some pieces of my fabric scraps I don't know if you can see there so those were stuck down with some of the aliens tacky glue and I put some on the eyes as well which you may not see as much but because I put them in the background it kind of adds another dimension to the eyes I don't know if you can see I've not stitched every part of it so underneath you've got some fabric under there as well 
And if you haven't got fabric, you've got paint. And I think it works really well. So it's a good slow stitched embroidery piece, I would call this. It's it's not functional. It could be. You could use it as a front of a journal. If you wanted to make it part of your journal, you could actually just cut that out and that could be, and you could put scraps around it and make it part of your journal cover, you know? Uh, it's got many, many uses apart from being decorative, but I quite like it as a decorative thing. So it's going to stay in this hoop and I'm just going to back it with some felt. Let me know if you are in the market for an owl, <laughs> either one way or the other. We're going to be doing some of these. I did show you some other pictures and I've got some more of these to come. This, this little boy was made from all the scraps that I had left over when I was away. So that's why he's called Odd Bod. And the other two um, looked um, more unified, but because he was made up of little bits, and I kind of love him a lot. So he sits on my desk as well. I've got a lot of things on my desk. I've got this. <laughs> While I'm showing you things I have, things I have on my desk, I have this little mouse. I used to put pins in him, but then I felt sorry for him, so I took all the pins out. <laughs> He's kind of sat on my desk covered in pins, looking more like a hedgehog. I think I made him probably about 10 years ago. And he's made out of pure wall felt, so he still hangs around on the desk. What else do I have on my desk? I have this little cupcake heart. Cupcake heart. Um, Valentine's cupcake that I never actually put a back on. So um, he needs to be finished off, but he's been hanging around for a while. What else do I have on my desk? This is a show and tell. This is my little, <laughs> my little um, kind of clay. I had bits of clay left over, so I just decorated it up, painted it up, and it's got my little math rocks sitting on there. Or to anybody who isn't a magpie and womble, these are uh, dice. Um, yeah, so they sit on there. Um, so I wonder if I've got any room for anything else. I've got, obviously I've got my little uh, brush snake that my brush sits in to dry off. These are all permanently on my desk. Um, oh, new addition is this little elephant I got in a bazaar pack. <laughs> he sits on top of my water pot. <sighs> yeah, maybe... Maybe that's enough. Maybe I don't need lots of little bits hanging around, but they make me happy. And if things like that make you happy as well, let me know down below. What are the strange and weird things that you have sitting on your desk or the area that you work in? Tell me. I want to know. I need to know I'm not alone in my madness. <laughs> Although maybe I am. Who knows? But I have lots of little bits and they kind of spark ideas sometimes. You know, sit looking at, I mean, this little jar of threads. This is all the things I've been working on. I just stuff the threads in this jar. And looking at that makes me happy because I can see little bits of sequins. And, you know, you kind of look at it. I've got bits of the gold now from, from uh, making the stars for this. Anyway, enough of my ramblings. That's my Friday ramble. I will be back with something else. Not quite sure which direction I'm going to go in next, but who is? And, um, yeah, I'll be back very shortly with another video if you're liking what i'm doing here please give me a little show of your thumbs see those thumbs and if you're liking a lot of the things i do here it might be worth you subscribing especially if you want to know when the new bracelet kits are coming out because they'll be coming out very shortly um and i'll be going through some of those as well have a great day have a great coronation weekend if you are uh, partaking of the watching of the coronation of king charles um, yeah, and um, bye for now.